I'm a little bit both excited and nervous. There's always like a little bit of nervousness because I don't know what I'll look like with the cut and then also the coloring. Excited. <laughs> excited. <laughs> My name is Michelle. I'm about to get my hair dyed plum red. Before you see my hair transformation, make sure to subscribe below. I'm a new college grad. I recently just graduated in spring of 2019. I'm looking to start my own side hustle, start my own business, and go into some entrepreneurial ventures. I kind of made a bold decision to uproot myself in New York City, just kind of trying to figure myself out. I'm kind of curious to see how my new hair will look and how it's going to change my vibe, but then also nervous because I've never had red hair and the cut all in one, but I'm more leaning on the excitement part. Hi, how are you? I'm Alex. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm nice Michelle. As well. So what are we doing with your color today? I'm thinking about doing a deep plum type of red and maybe like a nice cut over here for some bangs. Oh, awesome. What inspired the plum? I was just looking at photos on the internet and uh, saw that red was not a color that I delved deep into before, so. Okay, so we have some color samples here, all the way from warm to cool. Does any of these intrigue you? I really like the warm ones. The warmer ones. They look really nice. Okay, well let's get started. So today's color application is a single process. We start with the roots because of hot roots. Hot roots is when you put color on your roots, the color may turn very warm if you don't cancel out the warmth properly. Being that she had highlights at her midst to ends from like two years ago, reacted as if she was virgin hair all over. I used to dye my hair myself. Everything that I wanted to do, I just brought it from the drugstore and did it in my bathroom. I've noticed that whenever my life has some sort of big change, I always mix up my hair in some way. I felt like I had to become more vocal or shed my security blanket. I always like the ride and the excitement that comes in a good or bad hair job. About a year ago, when my dad went to his barber and got his hair cut, I just tacked along with him and I figured, I just want to trim off six inches. How bad can it be? It was really bad. <laughs> Hair to me is everything. Hair is how we recognize each other. Hair is a personality in its own. It looks a little more natural than vibrant. Sometimes when you go too vibrant, it can look gimmicky. So we're gonna be adding a fringe, yeah? Yeah. Or enhancing your fringe, right? Because you already have some. Now in terms of the shape of your fringe, do you want it kind of straight across? Do you like it a little bit rounded in the corner? I think I'm gonna try rounded this time. Let's do it. You wanna be careful with how much hair you add into the fringe, not to go past the round of your head, because some of that hair, if you pull it too far back, you'll create a bit of a funky layer. Are you ready to see your transformation? Yes. Awesome, here it goes. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I was not expecting this, <laughs> but I'm very happy about the way that it all turned out. Thank you so much. Awesome. I feel a lot bolder. It was the type of red that I imagined it to be, but a little bit different at the same time since it was a little bit shinier, brighter, all of that good stuff. I look like I could start a band with this look. I definitely feel that like K-pop charm and that kind of like bounciness that goes along with it. The first person I'm going to show this hair to would probably be my boyfriend. I think he's going to be genuinely surprised. He knew I was going to get like red and a cut like this, but I don't think this is like what he quite imagined. He has a rocker girlfriend now. 